family and friends came together in Elk Grove to remember a teen shot and killed on the 4th of July holiday in South Sacramento. Families say 19-year-old Mactavius Guerin was loved and he enjoyed every aspect of life. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sanga was at the vigil this evening and shows us how he is remembered and where the investigation now stands. Who do we change for? United by love, tears, and grief, another deadly shooting in the region has left another family trying to figure out why. Anytime I might have been going through something mentally, he was always the person that I would just lay down and I would just cry with him. Mctavius Guerin may not be a well-known name, but his impact was well known to the family and friends gathered for a vigil at an Elk Grove Park through his TikTok videos, his optimistic personality, and kind heart. He was a sponge for positivity. Anything that he viewed as something positive to pursue, he took action. If you had a bad day, like you might come around, he would immediately change your day. Friends and family honored the 19-year-old roughly 10 miles away from where Garen's life was taken. Early afternoon on July 4th, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says after receiving a call, they responded to a shooting at an apartment complex in a South Sacramento neighborhood. One person was killed and another sent to the hospital. I never thought I'd have two nephews, one deceased and one in the hospital. Rashawn Fulcher, an uncle, says it's hard to comprehend the senseless gun violence has hit so close to home. You feel like you do a good job preparing them and telling them that, you know, this is real, this is not a video game. Um, and yet and still we're here. Fulcher, a captain with the Sacramento Metro Fire, knows all too well responding to tragedies, but he hopes others can use their pain as a source of change. This isn't a video game. You know, you, you don't get rebirthed back into life. It's not like you wake up tomorrow and you realize it's a music video. This is real. And these consequences are real. A lot of family and friends trying to figure out why this shooting happened, but so far the sheriff's office has not released any suspect information or the motive. All right, Garsh Paul, thank you. The family has a GoFundMe page to help with the cost of the funeral. If you'd like to help, we have a link to that in this story on our website, abc10.com.